Hello children, welcome to this EduSat English Teleteaching Program. My dear children, you know now you are preparing for your essay 2 examination. So, I think you have completed some prose texts and some poems. Today, we will discuss one of the very interesting poems of your textbook written by Sarojin Naidu. The name of the poem is Village Song. Very, very interesting. So, before going to discuss some possible questions, some probable questions for your examination, let us know something about the poet and about the poem. Right. So, let us go to the poet first, Sarojin Naidu. So, you see the poem Village Song is an interesting poem written by Mr. Sarojin Naidu, who was a very great patriot, a famous politician and also a reputed a very popular orator and she was also an administrator. She was born on 13th February 1879 and passed away on 2nd March 1949. She was known as a very great modern poet of India, right. So, out of his novel, notable works, Golden Threshold and you know, Bajaj of Hyderabad, these two were very, very famous, very popular poems. And she was one of the jewels of the world, not only in India, she was also, she had a lot of fame and name in the world. And as she was one of the most famous heroines of the 20th century, her birthday that is 13th February is uh, uh, celebrated as Women's Day every year, right. So, let us go to the poem. My dear children, before going to discuss the summary, you just listen to me you remind your poem that you have been taught before, right. I am going to read out the poem and you listen to me very carefully. Honey child, honey child, whither are you going? Will you cast your jewels all to the bridges flowing? Would you leave the mother who on golden green has fed you? Would you grieve the lover who is riding forth to aid you? Mother mine, to the wild forest I am going where upon the champa bows the champa birds are blowing, to the coil hunted river isles where lotus lilies glisten, the voices of the fairy folk are calling me, O oh, listen, O oh, listen, right. Let us go to stanza 3 and 4. Honey child, honey child, the world is full of pleasure, of bridal songs and cradle songs and sandal scented leisure. Your bridal robes are in the loom, silver and saffron glowing. Your bridal cakes are on the hearth. Oh, whither are you going? The bridal songs and cradle songs of cadences of sorrow, the laughter of the sun today, the wind of the death tomorrow, a sweeter sound the forest notes, where forest streams are falling. Oh, mother mine. I cannot stay, the oh, fairy folk are calling. So, far sweeter sound the fresh notes, where forest streams are falling. Oh, mother mine, I cannot stay, the oh, fairy folk are calling. Very sweet song, with a very, very attractive rhythm, right. So, let us know the poem first, right. As you know, my dear children, the poem consists of four stanzas, right. And the poet has composed the poem in such a manner, the poem is completely an argument and two stanzas are for the mother's argument and two stanzas are for the daughter's argument. The poem begins with a sweet and affectionate argument between a mother and her lovely daughter in a household setting and mother begins the argument. So, first stanza is for the mother and in the argument, mother asks four questions in the first stanza. 
questions means mother does not want her daughter to leave home to cast her jewels to throw away the jewels to grieve the bridegroom means to give a lot of pain to the bridegroom mother does not want her daughter to do all these things but in reply the daughter says oh my mother the beautiful sights of the woods of the forest they are calling me the beautiful flowers on the boughs of the champa trees the coil hunted or visited rivers or rivers which are full of lotus and lilies they attract me they are calling me and the natural sights are very enjoyable so i want to get that pleasure and we don't get that pleasure in our married life right and in stanza 3 again the mother starts argument talks about the worldly pleasures and wedded life mother says bridal songs are very sweet very nice the motherhood and the cradle songs they give a lot of pleasure and they fulfill our life the wedding clothes and wedding cakes all these things are very attractive very enjoyable so mother says oh my sweet my honey child my dearest child you don't leave us you don't leave the home right and in the last stanza fourth stanza the daughter says the poem ends with the daughter's sweet and strong argument argument the daughter says oh happiness of life is not permanent it is very temporary life in the lap of nature would give us more pleasure so daughter says it will be pleasureful enjoyable to spend our time in the beautiful sights of nature in the lap of nature right prakriti kolare we can get a lot of happiness enjoyment anek anand paiba so this is the last argument and the daughter concludes ends his argument that no i cannot stay at home i am leaving home i am going to the forest the forest folks they are calling the sounds the musical sound of the forest the music of the sound that attracts me right so my dear children i think you understand the poem better let's go to the possible questions the probable questions which are supposed to come in your examination i have already told you there are three poems for essay 2 and this is number 1 village song number 2 flower school number 3 is from the formalin jar and from these two three poems you can get 10 marks 10 multiple choice types of questions right so let's discuss some 20 multiple choice type of questions today so that i think if you listen to me very carefully take part in the discussion then definitely certainly you can obtain full marks in your poem section right let's go to the multiple choice type of questions question number 1 the poet of the poem village song is stas in multiple choice questions you know we have four options option a c f alexander option b saroji naid Option C, William Wordsworth. Option D, Rita S. Money. I would like to remind you, C. F. Alexander is the poet of all things bright and beautiful. Sorojin Knight, we will see. Then William Wordsworth, you know, the poet poet of uh, Solitary Reaper. You have already been taught. Rita S. Money, you will be taught that poem, or you might have finished completed this poem that is from the formal exam. Let's see the answer. you see the appropriate the right answer is sarojin naid the poet of the poem village song and let us look at her picture right you just see this is the right answer sarojin naid is the poet of the song village song right so next question uh, who was the first indian woman to become the president of indian national congress right so who was the first indian woman to become the president of indian national congress yes option a pratibha patil option b sarojin naid 
ऑप्शन सी आनी बसंत ऑप्शन डी कमला नेहरू सो आउट ऑफ दिस फोर ऑप्शंस लेट अस सी व्हिच इज द राइट आंसर यस सरोजिन नाइड इज द राइट आंसर एंड प्लीज रिमेंबर सरोजिन नाइड वाज द फर्स्ट वुमन टू बी द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड नाउ यू सी हर पिक्चर यू कैन फाइंड द ईयर यू सी in 1925 she became the president of national congress for one year so 1925 to 26 and this is the right answer uh, sarojin naid was the first woman to be the president of indian national congress right uh, let's go to the next question question number 3 the poem village song appeared in the book dash we have already discussed she was very popular for some books and let's uh, look at the options of a the gray the golden threshold b the cradle songs c o oh, listen d honey child so let us see which one is the appropriate answer yes the golden threshold is the book from which this poem village song has been extracted you see the cover page of the book right so the golden threshold that is the book you can find you can look at the cover page of the book very nice it looks right and this is the right answer so dear children let's uh, go to the next question question number 4 who in the poem village song asks questions we have already discussed right let's see the options option a the poet option b mother option c debtor option d the would be right the bright room right so let's see the answer mother asks the questions i have already told you two standards for mother and another two standards for debtors so first mother starts questions right and this is the correct answer right you see uh yes you look at the picture mother is asking questions to the daughter right in this poem at the beginning right so let's go to the next question question number 5 the number of questions asked by the mother to her daughter is dash right how many questions has the mother asked to her daughter right let's see the options option a two questions option b three questions option c four questions option d five questions so let's see which one is the right answer option d and you see where mother ask questions yes i have already told you the questions uh, you can find in stanza 1 and stanza 3 in stanza 1 you can find four questions four lines honey child honey child whither are you going would you cast your jewels to the bridges you just look at the question marks so five questions sometimes uh, this type of question also comes uh, in your examination right so let's go to the next question question number 6 the village song is a conversation between we have already discussed option a father and son b brother and sister c father and mother d mother and daughter and the correct answer is mother and daughter you just look at the answer right so mother and daughter they are talking to each other you see nice picture mother is uh, saying something to the daughter and daughter is also saying something the to the mother question number 7 mother dissuades her daughter from dash dissuades discourages does not want right demotivates let's look at the options option a marriage option b going to forest option c playing with her friend option d going to father in law's house so mother does not want that means dissuades her daughter from this let's look at the answer going to the forest that means mother does not want her daughter to go to the forest right so you see they are talking and mother says oh my dear my sweet my honey child 
do not go to the forest. So, mother dissuades uh, her daughter not to go to the forest, this is the correct answer, right. So, let us go to the next one, the mother addresses the child as honey child because why? A, the name of the child is honey, B, the child is sweet to the mother, C, the child loves honey, D, the mother feeds the child on honey, right. So, which one is the correct answer? You see, the right answer is you see, the child is sweet to the mother, very nice, very lovely to the mother. That is why the correct answer is the child is sweet to the mother, yes. Everything that means any child is very sweet, even you are all sweetest before your mothers, right. Let us go to the next question. Question number 9, the girl in village song is going to grieve her death, right. To grieve her means to give pain to her death, yes. Option A, father, option B, mother, option C, bridegroom, option D, sister and out of these four options, let us see which one is the right answer, bridegroom, the would be husband, the lover mother says, uh, would you grieve to your lover, right. That means, would you give a lot of pain to your bridegroom if you go to the forest, right. So, my dear students, this is the right answer, the bridegroom or the would be husband, right. And you see, so let us go to the next question, question 10. In the poem, golden grain, in the poem, golden grain means death. Right. So, in the poem golden grain means A, the golden colored grain, B, the sweet grain, C, the grain in the golden plate, D, the delicate dishes. And I think yes, you see the D is the correct answer, right. The D is the right answer, the delicate dishes and you can also find the pictures, you see the pictures, very delicate dishes. That means, mother says, I have given you food in very nice dishes, nice plates, right. So, how can you leave the place? How can you leave home? How can you deny that you will not get uh, married, right. So, let us go to the next question. Question 11, which word of the following is used by the mother out of love and affection. So, let us look at the words sweet A, dear C, lovely D, honey. So, A sweet B, dear C, lovely and D, honey. And the correct answer already we have been uh, repeating the same word that is honey, that is the right answer, right. Option D, right. You see, you have already watched this picture, right. Let us go to the next question. The daughter replies to her mother that she is going to dash. She is going to A, the river, going to the wild forest, going to the, going to her uh, friend's house, D, going to the river isles, right. So, out of these four options, the correct answer is I think the wild forest, right. So, the daughter replies to her mother that she is going to the wild forest, the deep forest where beautiful sights are there, right. And you see, yes, the deep forest that is the wild uh, in the poetic language, the poet says, Sarojini Naipe says, the daughter wants to go the wild forest, the deep forest, right. And so, let us go to the next question, question number 13. According to the poet, the lotus lilies glisten in dash. So, you know lotus lilies, right, and they glisten in, yes, option A, the river isles, do not say isles, this is isles, right. 
the correct pronunciation is not so also at the river isles right option b the coil hunted river isles option c the ponds option d the lakes so let us see the correct answer the coil hunted river isles that means the river islands where the coils they hunt means they visit they frequently many times they visit so coils they visit many times and that is the right answer the coil hunted river isles right let us go to the next question a uh, far sweeter sound the forest notes where gas are falling far sweeter sound the forest notes where gas are falling option a forest rivers option b forest waterfalls option c forest animals option d forest streams right and let's see the correct answer the correct answer is forest streams so far sweeter sound the forest notes where the forest streams are right falling this is the right answer and let's go to the next question question number 15 the mother tells her child that the world is full of mother tales so what does the mother tell let's look at the option option a full of pleasure option b full of sorrows option c full of sufferings option d full of hatred right so mother says actually mother wants her child to get married that's why definitely you can also guess uh, the right answer let's see the right answer the right answer is pleasure right so the right answer is the world is full of pleasure right so you see they are maintaining happy life the couple husband wife with uh, their children and mother says oh if you get married you can also live a very very uh, happy life and enjoyable life right so this was the argument of the mother right right let's go to the next question question number 16 the mother in village song has fed her child on gas right we have already discussed option a ripe corn b golden grain c delicious food d royal food and let us see what does the poet sarojin knight say right let us see what he says what he says the correct answer is golden grain right so this is the right answer so the mother in village song has fed her child on golden grain means delicate dishes right you see uh, the beautiful dishes uh, golden grain right then you go to the next question question number 17 the girl tells her mother that she cannot stay at home because gas are calling so let's look at the options of snay the river isles option b the voices of the fairy folk c the song of the quails d the forest notes and let us see the right answer the voices of the fairy folk right so now you see the voices means this musical sound the sound that uh, uh, is created inside the forest the poet says the sound of the forest when the wind blows there is sound sound is produced and that sound is uh, compared with the sound of the fairy folk and the poet says the voices of the fairy folk is calling the girl and the girl is saying oh the sound is calling the musical sound of the forest is calling me i cannot stay here right so the correct answer is the voices of the fairy folk right so let's go to the next question question number 18 the laughter of the sun today the wind of the dust tomorrow this is a line of the poem let's look at the 
yes option a what b death c marriage d pleasure so out of these four options now you look at the right answer so the laughter of the sun today the wind of the death tomorrow you can just see yes they are really sitting all the ladies they are sitting in a painful mood right so something has taken place kichu gote ghati chi se mane dukhare achanti she and for that the girl says the happiness uh, becomes also painful sometimes right so this is the right answer let's go to the next question so the jewels were ready for the dia option a mother option b father option c bride groom option d the daughter so the jewels are ready for the yes yes see the right answer is for the daughter and the last question question of the session today right let's go to that question the honey child tells her mother that she is going to yes puni again we repeat we are coming to the first stanza option a her father in law's house the mountain then her village and the wild forest so the right answer is the wild forest you see right so the honey child the daughter is going to the wild forest right and saying that i do not like to get married rather i want to spend my life in the lap of nature enjoying the beautiful sights attractive and very enchanting sights right thank you very much we will discuss some more questions in the next session goodbye Thank <laughs> you.